Hello everybody and welcome to another video of DIY Investing. For today's video, we're going to be making one of the most important updates that I have ever had for you guys. We're going to be talking about why this coming cryptocurrency cycle will be the biggest one that we have ever seen. We have all of the catalysts perfectly set in place between retail adoption, we have on ramps like never before, and all of the cryptocurrencies are setting up in one of the biggest ways I have ever seen. People that are positioned early heading into this bull run are setting themselves up to make a financial fortune. And today I've got many different charts that are going to break it down, easy to understand, so that you guys can all go about profiting off of it when it happens. Thank Thank you guys so much for tuning in and with that being said let's jump right into this amazing video today For today's video, we are going to be mapping out why this coming cycle is setting up to be the biggest of all and how we can actually go about capitalizing off of it when it happens. Now guys, we have all talked about the potential that one day Bitcoin's going to get adopted, altcoins are going to get adopt adopted, and we're now actually going to see the same type of bull runs play out. Now, inside of our last bull cycle, because it was you know relatively lackluster in comparison to what we saw in 2017, a lot of people already assume that we're at that point. A lot of people are drawing really short targets heading into this next bull run, and they pretty much believe that, you know, due to the fact there's so much money already in Bitcoin, so much money already in the altcoin markets as a whole, that we're never going to see the same type of price rises. And while I would generally agree with the majority of what they say, specifically being centered around the idea that we're going to get the law of diminishing returns, the more that an asset class gets adopted, the more money that goes into it, the more, the more liquidity the less of the ROI will happen. And that is going to be the case across the board on a number of altcoins. But every single cycle, there's new altcoins that come onto the scene. There's still the 100X and the 1000X winners if you position yourself accordingly. Now guys, inside of our last bull cycle, it was insanely profitable. Had you have got into NFTs, DeFi, or Metaverse tokens, you still would have been able to see some of those massive gains that we experienced in 2017. But as a comparison, our last cycle was tiny in comparison to what we saw in 2017. The vast majority of people watching this channel were not around in 2017. If you were here in 2017, chances are you ended up buying the top and having to hold through that 2018 bear market. And that's no knock on anybody, it's just oftentimes the way we first get into the markets. For me, I was positioned very early. I got into crypto all the way here at the very beginning of 2016, and I got the opportunity of riding out that entire 2017 bull run. Now, I ended up reinvesting all of my profits at the top that I made, and then I lost them in the bear market. So I'm equally in, in the same position as everybody else was back then, but it was such an amazing opportunity to simply be there, experience the entire cycle play out, and that's what we're gonna be getting in today. I'm gonna be comparing a number of different charts and that's why you guys should make sure to stay all the way to the end because this is going to be one of the most action-packed, one of the most important updates that I ever make on this channel, specifically because we are now entering the very beginning stages of the new bull run. This is where the majority of our profit is going to be made by positioning ourselves right now, right here. So guys, make sure you stay all the way to the end. And if you do find any value in this, make sure you guys drop me a like. If you want to follow more of my analysis, follow all the trades that I post before I end up talking about them on YouTube. Links are in the description to go ahead and sign up on my signal service. Now, with that being said, let's talk about how identical each cycle is. And then we're going to be getting into a number of different altcoin charts that are going to perfectly map out why this coming cycle is setting up to be the biggest of all time. Now, here's the thing, guys. If we're comparing ROI, there will never be a... Uh if we're comparing ROI, we have to understand that the law of diminishing returns will come into effect. If we're comparing ROI, we won't see as big of an ROI as what we saw in 2016 and 2017. This was a time where we just had $500 million in market cap, and now we're sitting at, you know, 1.5 trillion total market cap approximately. And so we have to understand and keep in mind that high cap cryptos aren't going to see a thousand X returns. It's just not likely. What we will see though is some pretty massive gains nonetheless. And even though high cap cryptos won't be doing a thousand X or most likely even a hundred X returns, many other altcoins will be doing that. And what we're looking at here, guys, is the exact same setup as what we saw right before that 2017 bull run. 
The only difference between this cycle and this cycle over here is the amount of time that it takes to move that same amount of money. Keep in mind guys, $500 million in market cap, it took no time at all to move that amount of money. And that's why we saw these cycles kind of play out in a much quicker pace. Now, even though we're still following four year cycles, the big difference here is this leg up was basically a year long, and this leg up was three years long, right? So what we're seeing is as we've gained more liquidity, as we've seen more adoption, the amount of time that it takes to move the price in the same way continues to increase. And so nothing has really changed besides the length of time needed to get the same type of price returns. So what we're looking at here, guys, inside of our first cycle was the exact same bear market accumulation. We top, we get our first sets of lower highs, we make our lower low, we consolidate, you know, heading into the uh, summer times, and then that leads us into our final capitulation. These are the three rules that we saw inside of that bear market decline. Once we bottom, we get our first impulse into the new bull trend. This is our first higher high. When I tell you guys that we revert, revert back to the mean, this is that move right here. It was more volatile back inside of this consolidation, because keep in mind, the market cap was tiny in comparison. Eventually we top at somewhere around our midpoint. This one extended a little higher and then we come back down for further consolidation. We ret retest here. We bounce back up a lower high and then we come back down for one more retest of our support. And that's what leads us into the very beginning stages of that new bull trend, right? This was that first 2016 higher high. This is where Ethereum got added to exchanges and went to 21 to $23 and then pulled back down to $6. This entire move was us very beginning the stages of our new bull trend and the breakout into price discovery. It wasn't very big. We broke out of all time highs here in March of 2016. We ended up making another new all time high, but neither two of these highs were that much outside of our previous all time highs of that last cycle. And when we actually ended up getting that long term consolidation, you know, we ultimately ended up correcting back onto support of those all time highs. And that was us basically getting a retest of our prior cycle. That happens, we get this spring effect, and then that leads us into that 2017 bull run. And this was another year worth of insanely uh, bullish price action. So we got a year up right here, and then we got another year up right here. So that is kind of where I say that the big difference heading into this next cycle isn't that the price action is any different because the price action is exactly the same. The difference is the amount of time that it takes to create that same expansive type of move. And so what we see here, guys, inside of our 2018 bear market is the exact same consolidation. We top, we get our first two sets of lower highs and lower lows. Our lower low takes us into this orange point. The exact same consolidation here. It looks like a W, right? And then that leads us into our final capitulation here and that is the bottom of our bear cycle. In the exact same way, we get our first higher high and higher low all the way back up to the midpoint of our range. Same thing happened right here inside of our 2019 bull trend. We consolidate back down to support. We make another attempt. This is a lower high. We reject, and then this leads us to our final capitulation. The only difference here was this was COVID, so we had much more emphasis inside of this bear trap than we did over here. There was no black swan event over in this period. It was just a much more steady consolidation, but it's the exact same pattern that we see in here. After we end up bottoming here, that's what starts our cycle. Now, this is the big difference here. This took one year worth of us going from support to new all-time highs and retesting previous all-time highs as support. This took two years. This was two years time from the bottom to the top and then us basically consolidating back down onto support. So there is a minor difference, but it's not that much different. Like I stated, the only difference is the amount of time that it takes to get the same expansive type of moves. And so after that point, we saw one year worth of just nothing but parabolic price action for the altcoins. I believe that that is what is coming into our next cycle. And there's many altcoin charts that are explaining this exact same setup. The only difference here is what we're gonna be looking at is about a three year bull trend in order to complete this same move, right? So whereas from the beginning of 2017, right here, we saw one year worth of euphoric price action. This is only one year. This entire move here was only one year duration. This entire move here was two years and what in my opinion we're gonna be looking at heading into our next bull cycle is the same thing as this. Let me pull it up right here 
it will be the same thing as this. Obviously, it'll vary in how it looks, but what we're going to be looking at is the same type of expansive move. The difference here, instead of it taking one year, this is going to be a three-year bull run, basically into price discovery. That's why I say, guys, I really believe fully within myself and my own trading plan, I can't speak for everybody else, but in my trading plan, I am preparing for this next bull cycle to be the last great bull run for altcoins. I'm not saying that there's not going to be uh, more adoption. You've got chain links that already have partnerships with all of the major corporations, all of the major tech companies like Google. These are going to be ones that stick around. But what I'm saying here is the idea that we're just going to continue to get these insane price, uh, the price discoveries into massive euphoric events, that's just not going to happen. We are going to continue to see stability inside the market the more money, the more liquidity that gets added to these cycles. We've all understood that there's going to be a moment in time where these cycles stop, the four-year cycles stop, and we see Bitcoin hit a much more uh, higher point of adoption that leads to equilibrium. We've seen gold stabilize. We've seen stock markets stabilize. We've seen a number of different assets cl uh, asset classes stabilize. The more money, the more liquidity that gets added to their markets. This will be the exact same thing that happens to crypto, but I do not believe that we are there yet. I believe that we are getting ready for this same type of 2017 bull run, but instead of it lasting one year, it's going to be the entirety of our next three years up in this cycle. Keep in mind, guys, that our entire last bull run was just us barely breaking out, making a new all-time high into price discovery, retesting the previous all-time highs of support, and we never once dropped below that point. Our entire bear market was summarized by us bouncing off, not that move, off of our previous all-time highs as support. And we've done that the entirety of our bear market. I believe that there's no coincidence here that we're following this exact same price uh, action as what we saw all the way back here in our first cycle. It's not a coincidence. There's a reason markets rhyme. And with crypto being so cyclical, we're going to see another one of these massive, uh, massive euphoric type of events. Now, guys, what we're also going to be adding to this, keep in mind, guys, stay the way to the end because I'm telling you, I'm going to be covering a bunch of different charts that are going to explain a lot of important stuff for you. This was our 2017 bull run. And keep in mind, guys, that this is the chart of the Bitcoin dominance. Ever since uh, altcoins have been added in 2012 and 2013, we've seen this chart continuously going down. We have not seen anything in comparison to how big this 2017 bull run was. We saw Bitcoin dominance go from 98% all the way to 35%. And so in my opinion, it won't ever be as big of a profit return as what we saw in 2017. But nonetheless, what we continued to see throughout our entirety of consolidation from you know the ending of that cycle was Bitcoin maintaining its downtrend against Bitcoin dominance, right? Bitcoin dominance has actually been in a downtrend ever since, and it will continue to be in a downtrend. As long as altcoins are running, the more altcoins that are added, they're just gonna be taking more and more of that market share from Bitcoin. Eventually, like I've stated many times, there's only so much market share that can go around. Bitcoin's not just gonna dry up and evaporate, and 100% of that isn't just gonna go into these altcoins. But what we're looking at, in my opinion, is the last true altcoin cycle before we actually see Bitcoin you know, stabilize into the modern economy, get more adoption, and then from that point, you know, you're probably looking at about 10% of the altcoins, maybe even 5% of the altcoins that are gonna see long-term adoption. They're gonna keep, keep going, keep making new all-time highs, but those are going to be the ones that stabilize. There's not going to be these massive euphoric events where all the meme coins are pumping, where all these DeFi scams are pumping, where NFTs are going crazy. There's going to be a select few players that capture the majority of the market share, and those are going to be the ones that stick around. But this idea that we're just going to see massive bull runs, massive, uh, massive euphoric events, it's just not likely. And that's just honestly a pretty, uh, uh, in my opinion, it's an obvious thing that we can pretty much say. There's only so much market share that can go around. We're not just going to continue to see these crazy euphoric events. But nonetheless, guys, what we saw inside of our 2020 to 2021 bull run, this was the altcoins, right? Altcoin dominance or Bitcoin dominance topped at 73%. And our entire 2020 to 2021 bull run for altcoins was only a drop from 73% all the way down here to 40%. That was a tiny move. If we're looking at 2017, you know, this thing dropped 
64%. If we're looking at this bull run, this thing only dropped 45%. And if we're comparing this leg compared to this leg, it's not even comparable. Our entire last cycle for altcoins was the most lackluster experience I had ever been a part of. And like I stated at the earlier part of this video, unless you were exposed to NFTs, you were exposed to DeFi or the metaverse, chances are you didn't make hardly any money. I know a lot of people that only bought all of the OG altcoins that performed well from 2017. And if that was you, many of those never even broke all time highs. For example, I was accumulating and holding, still hold and accumulate a lot of XRP. And XRP didn't even get close to making a new all time high. And I think that in large part, that's just due to the fact that the Bitcoin dominance never went into a new all time low. We never broke below the lowest point that we saw at the very top of that 2017 altcoin run, right? Our entire bear market has been us consolidating inside of this range right here. We have a support range and we have a resistance range. And we've been consolidating inside of that ever since, you know, Bitcoin topped at $65,000 in, you know, the summer of 2021. Even though we rallied all the way back up and, you know, ultimately topped at a new all-time high at 69,000, the Bitcoin dominance consolidated inside of this channel the entire time. Now, here's what I believe is going to be happening. I believe that the Bitcoin dominance will rally back up and retest the range highs. Every new bull cycle, Bitcoin leads the way, bleeds altcoins, and outperforms altcoins as we go. This is just the way it always works every cycle. We can see here that this was when Bitcoin topped here at, uh, or I should say bottomed at the 2018 bear market, right? When Bitcoin bottomed at $3,200 and then made the run up to uh, 14K we can see the Bitcoin dominance actually made another new all-time high. So that's kind of the way that every single cycle has worked. When Bitcoin starts the new bull trend, it altcoins just lag behind it. And that's honestly what, in my opinion, we're already seeing right now. As Bitcoin started to break out, altcoins are lagging. Most altcoins are not outperforming Bitcoin. And that's why we're seeing the Bitcoin dominance continuing to trend up. And we're currently sitting at 43%. I believe that before Bitcoin's done with this next leg up, most likely we're gonna see this sweep above our resistance here, clear this range high, and run upwards of about 53 to 55% dominance. And this is gonna be taking us in contact with our downtrending resistance. Nonetheless, guys, the big difference point and the reason why this coming cycle is gonna be so much bigger than anything that we saw inside of our last bull run for altcoins is because this will be the first um, cycle for the altcoins and specifically the Bitcoin dominance where the Bitcoin dominance is going to be breaking and making a new all-time low. And this means altcoins are going to be going into price discovery against their Bitcoin ratios. And Bitcoin dominance is going to be continuing into price discovery to the downside. This is bearish price discovery. And I need to make this very clear to you guys. Our entire 2020 to 2021 bull run never went into price discovery in comparison to the all-time high that altcoins made against Bitcoin. This is where Bitcoin bottomed at 35% dominance and we never once made a new all-time low inside of our last cycle. What is true alt season? For you guys that don't know, because like I've stated, most people have not been around long enough to experience what true alt season is. Alt season is not when we see you know, these tiny little moves inside of the bull run. Yes, technically this was an alt season. Alt season is just when Bitcoin dominance underperforms against altcoins and the altcoins outperform Bitcoin against their Bitcoin ratios. But true alt season is when Bitcoin dominance goes into price discovery to the downside and altcoins go into price discovery against their Bitcoin ratios. Now guys, let's go into the next part of this video and talk a little bit about that. There's, there's gonna be a few different cycles that I wanted to cover here, and it's gonna show you guys how lackluster our last bull run was compared to 2017. First things first, let's actually talk about Ethereum against Bitcoin, because this is the driver of value in the altcoin markets. There's no better comparison to talk about the Bitcoin dominance than uh, Ethereum against Bitcoin. Now guys, this was the 2017 bull run. This is where we saw nothing but new all-time highs and price discovery for the altcoin Bitcoin ratios. Ethereum was in price discovery the entire time up until the point of where Bitcoin topped at the very beginning of 2018. And so throughout 2017, 
we saw these altcoin ratios outperforming against Bitcoin, and that's why it was so profitable. When we saw this happening, where Bitcoin dominance was going into price discovery to the downside, all of that money was leaving Bitcoin's market cap and going into altcoins. The reason this happens is because Bitcoin wells take profit on Bitcoin, they diversify into altcoin cycles with the intention of doubling their Bitcoin up. What we never saw in our last cycle was price discovery against the Bitcoin ratios. Like I stated right here, this entire 2020 to 2021 bull run never made a new all time low in the Bitcoin dominance. And likewise, the altcoins never went into price discovery against Bitcoin. Now guys, what we're looking at here when we look at uh, Bit or Ethereum, I should say, we're looking at a sustained period of uptrending against Bitcoin. This is accumulation, guys. This is a long-term big picture accumulation without a move into price discovery. This is just building a huge supporting base and a strong foundation before we ultimately see this lift off and go into price discovery. My target for ETH BTC is 0.3. And if that happens, we would literally see for the first time ever an altcoin flip Bitcoin in market cap. Now I know that I'm gonna say this and people are gonna say, oh, that's impossible, it's never gonna happen. But really guys, Ethereum's only a 2X away from flipping Bitcoin in market cap already. That's not a very big move whatsoever. When we're looking and comparing what Bitcoin does versus what Ethereum does, yes, Ethereum's slow, yes, Ethereum sucks, the gas fees are high, yada, yada, yada. There is way more value being propped up through Ethereum than there is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is literally a store of value and, you know, kind of a payment system, but it's slow even as uh, if you were to use it for that. There's a reason banks can't really use Bitcoin. It's too damn slow. With that being said, Ethereum is where we get all of DeFi. Ethereum is where we get all of NFTs. Ethereum is where we get all of the ability to create tokens. So Bitcoin is really just one dimensional. Ethereum is multi-dimensional. Whether you agree with Ethereum, whether you hold Ethereum, I literally don't care. I don't care about your personal biases because personal biases get in the way of profitability. What we are looking at here and what the charts are telling us is that Ethereum is setting up to flip Bitcoin in market cap. And if it goes to 0.3, it will flip Bitcoin in market cap. Like I stated, we only need a 2X against Bitcoin to do that same type of move. To get a 2X inside of Ethereum from here would ultimately flip Bitcoin in market cap. I believe this is the first cycle that that happens. And when we're looking at the total altcoin market cap, the altcoin charts are literally telling us this. If we see another 2017 bull run taking place in the altcoins, it's, it's uh, apparent to me that that would occur inside of the cycle where Ethereum flips Bitcoin in market cap. So there's going to be people that fight with me all the way to the end of this. And those are people that are going to miss out on the huge opportunity. I don't make the rules. What we're looking at is a massive amount of accumulation against these Bitcoin altcoin ratios. And I can share with you guys a number of other examples. For example, when we're comparing other altcoins that performed exceptionally well in 2017, none of these have changed. This is a massive accumulation pattern that has taken place. We made an all-time low uh, February of 2021, and these have never made a lower low from that point. We have maintained support throughout the entirety of our bear market, and as you know, we've actually seen the new cycle beginning and the ending of our bear market, altcoins are actually building a major foundation against Bitcoin. This is telling me that the wells, the Bitcoin wells, are re-diversifying their Bitcoin profits into altcoins. And this only happens in true alt season. Our entire last cycle, as well as XMR did, which if we come over here and look at the chart, we're going to look at XMR on the dollar because this points to another amazing perspective. Uh, XMR literally made a new all-time high. It performed really well. You know, it didn't do as well as Bitcoin did. It didn't have as massive of a move. But nonetheless, guys, when we're looking at the Wall Street cheat sheet, every single one of the OG altcoins from 2017 are inside of the disbelief phase. This is a sucker's rally. Because of the fact we saw mainly DeFi NFTs and Metaverse do well, Everybody that wasn't around for 2017 has completely written off the idea that these 2017 altcoins are ever going to do anything again. That is the exact emotional psychology of the disbelief phase. This is a sucker's rally. And we, when we come over here and look 
and we analyze the emotions inside of this big picture market cycle, it is following the Wall Street cheat sheet almost identically. Yes, there's gonna be a variance in the way the market structure looks, but nonetheless, this is exactly the same emotional psychology that is going to be playing out, and it's setting up for a massive move into price discovery. There's a reason why, when we come over here and look at the uh, Bitcoin ratio for XMR, there's a reason why this is showing a massive amount of volume at the lows, and a huge foundational base of support. It's because every single one of these are setting up for another massive 2017 bull run. And it's not coincidence that when we come over here and look at the altcoin total market cap chart, that our entire cycle today looks exactly the same as what we saw right before our 2017 bull run. Bitcoin dominance confirms this. Our 2017 altcoin run was where we saw altcoin Bitcoin ratios outperform Bitcoin, go into price discovery, and likewise, Bitcoin dominance made new all-time lows and went into price discovery to the downside, bearish price discovery. If our 2021 altcoin run never once made a new all-time low, how can you call that alt season? It was an alt season. It was a niche market between DeFi, NFTs, and Metaverse that outperformed, and that was really where you made the most money. If you were somebody who held XRP, look, XRP never even made a new all-time high. Even though XMR did, this is a pretty lackluster performance, and when we compare the Bitcoin ratios, they underperformed against Bitcoin massively. But what we've seen, basically since 2019, is altcoins have built a massive amount of supporting foundation because Bitcoin wells are accumulating them. That is what we, what we see in true alt season. There's a reason why Ethereum against Bitcoin has made this massive uptrend and this is a big accumulation pattern that is going to be taking us into new all-time highs. Even if we see a short-term correction, like I think we will, I think this will dip a little bit, but nonetheless, this is going to continue to go up inside of a new cycle. And this will be the first cycle since 2017 that altcoin Bitcoin ratios are outperforming and in price discovery. It's not coincidence that all of the other charts look exactly the same as what we saw right before that 2017 bull run. And so if we look at the emotions, guys, the emotions are telling us that this is the disbelief. We went through capitulation, anger, and depression. We made our first uh, run into the new cycle. This is our first impulse. Some of them went higher than others, but nonetheless, it's all the same. Now that we went in through our bear market, and because many of the altcoins barely made new all-time highs and some of them didn't, most people are assuming that the OG altcoins are dead, they're never gonna have new cycles, you know, we should move on to bigger and better things, the new shiny object, the big toy that everybody's talking about. That's where the majority of the people are thinking. That's the emotional psychology. And it's not coincidence that this is what's known as this is a sucker's rally. It's because this is what people think. People think that our last cycle for altcoins was a sucker's rally. They're dying out. We're gonna see this type of formation as they slowly die and go into obscurity. I could not disagree with that more. And I believe that this, I mean, if we're following Elliott wave theory, this entire last cycle was just a one wave, right? What we're getting ready for is wave three, which is gonna be absolutely massive. If we come over here and look at our first cycle for altcoins, this was wave one for XMR, this little tiny move here, and this was wave three. all the way to this point right here. And then this was our wave five, that move here. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. Our entire last cycle for many of the altcoins was just the first wave. This is just the first impulse. Wave ones are small. They're not always gonna be massive. Where I was assuming our last cycle would make another one of these, I was premature in believing that. I was naive in thinking that this was enough time to create that large of a move. Nonetheless, I still believe that move is coming. The difference was is it took more time, more money had to accumulate in order to see that same massive price discovery. What we're looking at here is this leg up right there is just the disbelief phase. And what comes is this type of move into price discovery. And there's a number of different assets that we can look at. XRP is a prime example of this. Like I stated guys, I was naive in thinking that after this accumulation, we could get another one of these. It, that just wasn't the case. But what we did get was the disbelief phase. We did see an impulse, we did see a higher high, and that is why everybody thinks that this, you know, they're never gonna do anything. This is a sucker's rally. No, OG altcoins are done for. All of the old altcoins will never see new all-time highs, never see adoption. 
And like I stated, guys, I could not disagree further from that point. And I believe that the reason people say this is because they've already focused on what all the shiny new altcoins are, where NFT, DeFi, and all of that stuff is, and they've completely written off the idea that there's still people accumulating these cycles. I never sold anything. I'm still holding my XRP. And here's a cool thing, guys. If we're looking at this, you can even see inside of our last cycle, this hope phase. It looks exactly the same as this chart. And that's why I love following the emotional psychology of a market because I can promise you where the PA may differ, where we might not know what's gonna happen, the emotions stay the same every cycle. There's a reason these charts make these patterns. It's because it's humans that invest money into these and these humans are emotional creatures that don't understand how to properly invest. They buy when the markets are going up, they sell when the markets are going down and that's what creates this psychology. This was the hope right here, sending triangle, ascending triangle, blow off top, optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria. That's all what happened right here leading into this move to the downside. Only difference was this was a much deeper bubble and we popped a lot quicker than what we see over here. Nonetheless, we went through the exact same capitulation, anger, and depression. Right here, capitulation, anger, depression, low, lower low, lowest low. Disbelief is the first impulse into the new bull trend. Because we didn't break new all-time highs, people think that this is a sucker's rally. It could not get more perfect for the emotional psychology of a cycle. If we come over here and look at XLM, this is another example. This one had a better performing cycle. We made a new all-time high, but it's still the same thing. Our entire last cycle was just the beginning of this new trend. This is the disbelief. Nobody thinks that these OG altcoins are gonna do anything. And I could not disagree more because when we come over here and look at the Bitcoin pairs, the Bitcoin pairs are showing massive amounts of accumulation. There is a ton of volume that came in here at the lows. We're seeing with XRP against Bitcoin, one of the biggest inverse head and shoulders I have ever seen in my entire life with all of the volume matching up perfectly. We see that same volume playing out. Everything is setting up for truly the biggest altcoin cycle that we have ever seen. Yes, all altcoins that are sitting at multi-billions of dollars in market cap are not going to see, you know, a thousand X returns or most likely even a hundred X returns. But nonetheless, you're still going to make a ton of money. And you got to think that if XRP does a 30 to 50 X, imagine what low cap cryptos are going to do. Imagine what the ecosystem that XRP is building is going to do. Imagine the tokens that are being built on XRP. Those are where the real money is to be made. Not so much the high caps, although you can still make, you know, 20, 30, 40 X in that regard. The big money will be made playing uh, smaller market caps. If you're looking for a thousand X, you got to, you know, look at the lower part of the market for the market cap. But nonetheless, guys, the big difference here is our entire last cycle for altcoins was where we never saw price discovery against their Bitcoin ratios. I and everybody else was waiting for this type of move where we see these big spikes in value where the altcoins outperform Bitcoin, right? We never saw that in the last cycle, but ever since Bitcoin bottomed, or I should say altcoin dominance pretty much topped in 2019 when Bitcoin hit 14K, we've seen altcoins accumulating against Bitcoin. And that's why I say, guys, it's not some coincidence that the charts are setting up just like 2017. It's not some coincidence that we're about to see new all-time lows inside of the Bitcoin dominance, thus creating uh, price discovery against the Bitcoin altcoin ratios. And that's exactly what we're seeing. All of these old altcoins are building massive supporting bases, awaiting for a price discovery type of event leading us into our next cycle. XRP is a prime example of this. This is honestly one of the better looking altcoin Bitcoin ratios. And uh, the only other one that's better is, the only one that's really better is pretty much Ethereum. Now, if we come over here and look at another one, whether you disagree with this uh, coin or not, I literally don't care. This is another prime example. What we're seeing with Tron is a massive inverse head and shoulder formation in the same way that we saw it with XRP. And this one actually broke out technically I wouldn't consider this a breakout yet, but we're very close to breaking out of this formation. And if we are able to hold support somewhere in here and get above this like that, that is a com that's a confirmed inverse head and shoulder breakout, and we have tons of volume to line up perfectly with this playing out. If we come over here and look at Tron against the dollar, this is one of the better looking altcoins inside of the entire market. If we come over here, this is just another one of those examples inside of disbelief phase where we see a bear market, we make our first higher high, 
we consolidate, and what we see here inside of Tron, we flip descending resistance, we retest it as support, and now we're getting continuation from that point. Inclining volume plus inclining price is a bullish volume profile. It means uh, most likely that we're going to continue to see uh, price discovery. Most importantly, we're going to continue to see the bullish trend play out. Declining volume and declining price is also a bullish volume pro profile. This indicates that we're going to get continuation. And if you notice here, we saw nothing but increased volume and increased price throughout the bull trend, even though we didn't make a new all-time high. And then the bear market, we saw declining volume and declining price. This is literally a big one wave. I'm telling you guys. Everything that these old altcoins did was nothing bearish by any means. We're just setting up for a much bigger move into price discovery. I don't know how high it's going to go, but one thing that 2017 taught me was you can't predict how bullish some of these altcoins are going to get. And that's why it's silly to draw these price targets because no one really knows. All we can do is focus on the cycles. We have a four-year cycle playing out. We've got three years of what, in my opinion, we will most likely see this type of price action. It might take, you know, 20, all of 2023 before we get to the point where we're sitting at or around new all-time highs. And it might be, you know, only two years where we see this, or maybe one and a half years, or maybe it is only one year where we see this type of a move. Nonetheless, guys, I firmly believe that our cycle is going to set up for another one of these euphoric events. Everything on the charts is telling me this. Altcoins look exactly like the Wall Street cheat sheet in the disbelief phase, awaiting a massive uh, market cycle. No matter which ones you look at, all of the best performing 2017 altcoins that are still around, still seeing adoption, they are still setting up in massive ways. Altcoin Bitcoin ratios are looking exceptionally bullish. Many of them have created massive supporting foundations, a base awaiting for new all-time highs. It doesn't matter which one you look at, many of these are showing this exact same pattern. The only altcoin that we really saw go into price discovery against its Bitcoin ratio was Doge in our last cycle. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is literally what we're going to be looking at once again. Whereas mostly all of the altcoins pretty much look like this, where they've made little cycles but didn't really do anything. When price discovery against Bitcoin happens, this is pretty much what takes place. So when we come over here and we look at you know, XRP against Bitcoin, and we've seen how it's pretty much created the same pattern as Doge, where we have these little cycles and they keep impulsing. In the same way that these get dwarfed by Doge, it will happen with XRP. These will get dwarfed, will make a massive move into price discovery, and we'll probably create a similar type fractal as what this one did and what this one did. They all vary to some extent, but nonetheless, when we see price discovery, this is what happens. We don't make life-changing wealth in crypto unless you're early to the trend, you see the trend before it happens, and then you're ultimately able to hold throughout the majority of that trend. What we're seeing here is such an amazing opportunity, and that's why I wanted to make this video was to basically summarize some of these thoughts. So if you guys did find value in this, make sure you guys do me a favor and leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If you guys want to be able to follow all of this analysis, most importantly, what trades I'm going to be taking over this next cycle. There's so many altcoin setups right now that are about to print major profit. And with us getting ready for that first major breakout inside of our new bull trend, this is where a ton of profit will be made. A lot of people are going to be able to accumulate a number of positions, be able to take a little bit of profit throughout this year, and compound a waiting awaiting for this type of move into price discovery. I'm telling you guys, this next cycle is gonna be the most profitable one of all time because what we didn't have in 2017 was massive on-ramps for retail adoption to take place. We didn't have institutions. We barely even had layer ones that were creating altcoins. That was pretty much the only value that was made. This time, we have so many different ways to make money. NFTs, DeFi, other altcoins, layer ones, twos, and threes. We have so many different ways to make money. And that's why I believe that this cycle more than ever before will be one that you want to be early, you want to be positioned correctly, because the worst thing in the world is to not know what the heck you're doing and just try and guess at everything that's going on. Because in crypto, you will make money. It doesn't take a genius to make money in a bull market, but it's the people that were prepared before that cycle happens, pick select altcoins that had the best fundamentals that are gonna outperform the rest of the market, and that's where you're gonna make millions of dollars. And that's why I believe that it would be in everybody's best interest to at the very least check out my prior videos 
At the very least, go ahead and join my signals if you want to see what I'm personally invested in, how I'm restructuring uh, my portfolio, what I'm moving into, heading into this next cycle. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you guys in there. Thank you for the support. You know, this is going to be a huge opportunity and I'm really excited to see you guys be able to capitalize in on that as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.